Palea is a new online multiplayer cozy game coming to closed beta on August 10th. Today we're going to do a deep dive all about mining in Palea. Whether you're a seasoned miner seeking new techniques or a beginner eager to strike it rich, this video is your ultimate guide to the best mining spots and also maximizing your ore haul. Mining is a great way to upgrade your tools and start gathering those all important resources to advance in the game. To maximize your efficiency, bring a friend along. Palea is a very community focused, so when you're ore hunting with friends, everyone that's gotten a chance to swing at the ore will get their own loot pile, and your share isn't diminished at all if others are joining in. Mining with a group means you get the same amount of ore for just a small fraction of the focus cost. What's focus? Unlike other survival exploration games, Palea does not have a stamina mechanic. Instead, we can eat cooked food and recipes to gain focus. Think of focus like your XP multiplier. You don't need focus to mine, fish, hunt, or chop wood, but it does help you level up your skills faster. In the early stages of the game, stone, clay, and copper will be your focus. All three of these resources can be found right here in Kilima. My favorite spots to check for copper are along the coast, surrounding the mayor's estate, and south of the Remembrance Garden. Copper will also randomly drop silver ore. Silver ore cannot be mined specifically, at least not currently at the time of this recording, so a bonus silver is always a pleasant surprise. I like to actually do a loop around the entire west part of the map, from the mayor's estate all the way around the coast to Gillyfin Cove, where you'll find a ton of clay. And then you can circle back home or stop at the stable in Leafhopper Hills to travel to Bahari Bay for our next resource, iron. After you've upgraded your pickaxe to at least a standard pickaxe, you can head over to Bahari Bay to find iron at the base of hills and mountains. And of course, the Pavel Mines. Sometimes iron ore will drop a bonus nugget of gold ore. This is similar to silver and cannot be mined on its own. My speedrun strat is to teleport into Bahari Bay Central Stables and then immediately fast travel again to Pulse Water Plains. Try to catch a few bugs along the way to sell and you'll easily make back the 75 gold that it costs to fast travel. After you've upgraded your pickaxe to at least a fine pickaxe, I like to focus on the few areas that are rich with not only iron, but also the highest tier ore currently in the game, Palium. Palium can be found higher up in the mountains and also in the upper level of the mines, as well as in the mountainous areas of the flooded fortress. To put it simply, get climbing. Once you've reached level eight mining, you'll also unlock an ore compass. This gives you a buff for 15 real world minutes that allows you to see the location of any ore on your HUD compass at the top of the screen. Keep in mind, this shows every ore location. So if you're specifically on the hunt for Palium, your ore compass will also be flooded with the location of iron ore. What's your favorite skill to hone in this coziest of MMOs? What should we do a deep dive on next? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still waiting to enter the magical world of Palea, sign up with my referral link in the description to unlock a special free in-game furniture item. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.